Good morning, YouTube. Uh, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. My name is Evan from Evan Gets Aesthetic, and this is gonna be my first video, and I just wanted to say, you know, hey to all YouTubers. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, just kind of create a fitness vlog, you know, diet vlog, things like that. Um, a little background about me, I was, you know, maybe uh, two years ago, I was about 210 pounds. Um, I'm now 175 pounds after dropping down to 160 pounds. So I know a lot of you guys out there watch other YouTubers and they are fantastic for things like inspiration and you know how to how to make good meals that good for your macros and things like that. But I don't know of a whole lot of other ones out there that have been fat and been chubby and soft and not had the best self-esteem. And that's what I'm bringing to the table. I know what it's like to be at a bar, be at a club, and wish, hey, you know, I, I wish I looked like that. You know, if I had only put the time in, I would look just like that, um, and your confidence would be way better. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can do that. Um, uh, probably in another video, I'll throw some pictures on there, you know, maybe like a hashtag Transform Transformation Tuesday or something like that, something cheesy. Um, but you know that's just kind of what I, you know what what I'm bringing here, and I hope to inspire some people, and I truly hope that you guys out there, whoever is viewing this, keep me going, and because I don't want to stop, um, you know I, I know what it's like to to not be in the consistent fitness game and not really care about what you're eating, know what you're putting in your body, and it's it's not a fun life in the end. It's fun at the moment, but not at the end. So. That's, that's really it about me. Um, I do want to open this vlog series with a question that I know a lot of people struggle with. And it is the question of, should you bulk or should you cut? Should you uh, take in a little more calories, you know, maybe 500, 600 calories a day and try to put on some muscle? Or are you, are you at the point where you have muscle and you can cut down in summertime and you want to see some muscle definitions and muscle striations that everybody wants to see so bad. Well, I am living proof that this is not an easy question to internally uh, answer for yourself. Um, when I was, so I was 210 pounds. When I got down to about 180, uh, just doing a lot of cardio, a lot of body weight exercises, um, you know, I kept thinking, okay, if I just get down to 170 pounds, I'm going to see a six pack. There's no way, you know, I've, I've been a healthy guy all my life. There's no way I'm not going to see a six pack. Um, and then I got down to 160 pounds and there's no six pack. So I thought, wait a minute, like the, there has to be a six pack. How, how could, I just lost an X amount of pounds. How can I not have a six pack? Well, it took a lot of research and a lot of searching online and, you know, reading books about it. And I just came to the, you know, to the decision that I don't have abs to show. And that's the key. If you don't have abs, you're not going to have abs will show. So it doesn't matter if you're, you know, at 6%, 8%, 10% body fat. Um, if you don't have them, they're not going to be there. Now, of course, everybody has abdominal muscle walls and a slight variation of a six pack, but you have to build it just like you build your arms, just like you build your chest, it doesn't matter. So if you are getting down to a point where you know, your face is sunken in and you're just, you look like, you know, uh, somebody who's malnourished, then it's time to start your bulk phase. Um, that's pretty much the best indicator because I know everybody doesn't have you know, body, you know, the access to go to a bod pot and get your accurate body fat uh, percentage. Or they don't have access to go to a trainer and say, hey, can you give me, you know, can you do my body fat percentage really quick? So that's, to me, is my biggest way of telling if you need to bulk or cut. Uh, if you still have a little flab on your belly, you're still a little, you know, uh, you, you might be able to lose five, 10 pounds, then, then keep on, you know, keep on your cut, you know, keep losing, keep losing that fat and just kind of get to a point where you're losing weight, but you don't see any difference. That's, that's what I would tell you. Um, and basically for me, you know, I went, you know, I was at 160 pounds. I had no, I had almost no muscle definition 
I was skinny fat. Uh, you know, I had a little flab and I just, I was really frustrated. And then now I did a bulk, I did a bulk stage. I got to about 180 pounds, 180, 183, so about 20 pounds. Um, just eating a lot of brown rice, uh, probably eating like six pieces of whole wheat bread a day. Just making sure I got good carbs, but I stayed away from sugars. That's that's what I really try to do is stay away from sugars. And now that I'm on a cut phase and I'm down to about 173, I look way better than I looked at 160. I mean, at least in my opinion, and, you know, I now I have visible abs and I have chest striations and things like that. So. That's just me trying to be living proof of, you know, what it's, you know, I understand your frustration that you keep losing weight, losing weight, and losing weight, but you don't see a difference. I get it. Um, so yeah, just give it a try. If, if you feel like you're not, you know, if you're not seeing muscle, you know, gain muscle to see muscle. Um, so anyway, that's my video. Uh, if you happen to like it, go ahead and throw a like to it. I would, you know, I would love to keep making these videos. This is something that I want to do for a very long time. I woke up very excited today that I had the opportunity to do this, and I hope to inspire some people. Um, all right, that's pretty much it. See you in the next video. Peace.